Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to hide seams using the new patch layer in Anime Studio 8. The patch layer is probably the most useful addition for me when it comes to Anime Studio version 8. This is kind of funny because it's such a simple addition, yet it's probably my favorite addition out of everything that Anime Studio 8 has to offer. What the patch layer does is it allows you to hide the seams that might be brought on between two objects. This is especially true if you have, let's say, different parts of a limb. And to demonstrate this, I'll zoom in on my character so you can see what I'm talking about. You'll see that I have an arm made up of a few different parts. But you'll see that with the hand and with the elbow, I have the seams that close off those objects so that I can fill them and so that I can complete the object. Now in the past, what I could do is I could take the remove point tool or the hide edge tool or the line width tool and slowly just try to whittle that down. But with the patch layer, we can now simply put a patch over these lines and that's it and move on with our lives. So let's demonstrate this. Let's put a patch over the hand so that we hide this seam. The first thing we need to do is locate the hand layer on our layers box. So I have it right here. So let's just click that. And yes, as you can see, it is a switch layer, but that does not matter. Now let's go to the new layer button and choose patch. What this will do is it will put the patch above the hand, which is what we want. Now the next step is we need to define the target for this hand. What is it linked to? Where do we want to hide this? Well, the hand is connected to this portion of the arm, which I have named arm bottom one, as you can see on my layers. So that's the target I want to choose for this particular patch. And once I've done that, click OK. Now, you'll see that a new layer has appeared. And when you're on this layer, you'll have a circle appear. This is the patch that we just created. So what we can do is take the um, Translate Layer tool and move this around and move this over where we need it to be. You'll notice as I move it over the area, that that line that separates the hand and the arm disappear. So once you have placed it, you can also readjust the size of it as well. As you can see right now, it's a bit too big, so we can just tweak that by taking the scale layer tool and just squishing this down a little bit so that it just surrounds the wrist. And you probably want it just a little bit bigger than the actual portion of that layer just so you make sure that you cover everything but once you have that you are good to go the final step would be of course to link this patch then to your um, bone structure so I'll just take the bind layer option here and connect it to that bone so that way now when I try to move this character and test it out by taking my Manipulate Bones tool, you can see that it works and that the patch moves with the movement, basically. Now, you'll want to do this for other portions of your character that have those seams. So, for instance, my arm bottom and my arm top layers are clashing here. So, I will go down here then to my layers and find those two layers. And as you can see, my arm bottom is over my arm top, so I want to put the patch over the arm bottom layer. So I will click on that, go to uh, the new layer button and choose patch, and choose arm top one as my target and click OK, and then take this and move it down right there and resize it. Just like that. And of course, you'll want to then bind the layer as well. 
So again, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Now there's one more thing you can do just to show you for practice. Let's go down here to the leg bottom and leg top layers and I will again add another patch. Let's say you're adding a patch and you want to link the leg top one layer to this patch. Let's say you make a mistake and you accidentally link the torso and then you take your patch layer and you bring it down and it's not working and you can see it's not working. Well, you need to go back and redefine the target. You can easily do this by double clicking on the patch layer, choosing patch in your layer properties and redefining the target. In this case, we would choose the leg top one target and click OK. And as you can see, it now works. So anyway, to wrap this up, the patch layer is great, especially if you're doing character animation. It allows you to easily close those seams off without having you to manually go in and tweak the lines. And that still might be required in some cases. This isn't a complete fix for that problem, but it does greatly help, as you can see, as I was manipulating my bones earlier, and I'll do it again just to demonstrate, especially with the arm, that it does patch it up really well and the arm seems to work pretty well. So I definitely recommend you check out this feature if you have the